Rivers are constantly eroding, transporting and depositing material along the length of a river. By doing so, they create different landforms. Let's see what those features are and how they're created. Moving from the upper course to the lower course along the river's long profile, we can see a number of different landforms. We're going to focus on the upper course and the landforms created through erosion. In the upper course, erosion is the main driver, with interlocking spurs, waterfalls and gorges being created. Interlocking spurs are found in the upper course, where the river's erosive power isn't enough to cut through the land, so it weaves around the spurs. Waterfalls usually occur where water flows over different types of rock with relatively resistant rock at the top and less resistant rock at the bottom. When the water falls over the fall, it drops into a plunge pool at the bottom, where hydraulic action and abrasion scour away at the less resistant rock to create a plunge pool. This will erode the less resistant rock more quickly, undercutting the more resistant rock on top. This overhang will eventually fall and the waterfall will retreat upstream to create a gorge, a narrow steep-sided valley, downstream from the waterfall. Erosion plays a big role in the development of distinctive landforms, and it's important to recognise where, how and why these features are created. <laughs>